This is ABC Simple Sales Tracker. It keeps track of your contacts, your sales opportunities and activities, and it does it with two tables. We're looking at a dashboard, so we've got a bunch of reports here which you can customize in the right side. You can do searches for Dave and find all the records that have something to do with Dave. If you click on the table up above called Contacts, you can pivot. Let's say I want to see Kirk Tracy's leads or records here for all the contacts. There are a bunch of buttons on these apps and this is one of the reasons that this app was put together to show how you can track. You can see we've got uh, two activities here. If I clicked on this right here and in, in uh, here I might say left uh, name and number for uh, call back and then save. And uh, what that does is it allows us to be able to, on the fly, add extra activities as, as time goes on. Uh, let's once again click on the contacts here. So this is a list of all the contacts here. You can look for Dave here if you wish to and find all the Daves this way. This looks through all of the columns that are listed um, inside here. Let's view or edit one of these. Let's edit this. So there are a couple of different ways you can use graphics and buttons to be able to promote workflow inside your applications. And there are some examples here. These will do what they're told and then just refresh the page or say thank you, actually. Um, you can use to use graphics or you can choose to use buttons. These are a way of saying I want to add an activity and have it pre-filled out with voicemail or spoke live or meeting. So if I was to do that, let's first look way down at the bottom where all the activities are. We've got four activities down below here. If I wanted to add a note, for instance, I might say, I might come over here and you notice this is filled out automatically with note and we need to do 6%, uh, whatever that means. And we'll save that. And as you come back here, all these activities down below, we need to do 6%. Now, you can obviously add activities this way and manually do it. It's an individual button, but uh, these have some code in them and they're pretty. Right click if you're uh, wondering how they operate. And you can right click and edit the field properties to see what the code looks like. So this is the one for demo. And the button's color here, if you wanted to change the button's color, the text color, uh, and where it's going. Right now it's adding a record to the activities table, and then it's returning. And that's what this bottom return is there. Um, the other ones that are listed in here, uh, the graphics at the top of the page, are just using an image rather than a CSS button here. Now let's get into the meat of what, what is also a part of this. This keeps track of from the time this was a lead to the time it closed, how many days it stayed as a lead before it was interested, before they were qualified, before they, we proposed to them, how many days we had them in the pipeline, why they figured it out and did their due diligence, and how many time, days it was from the beginning of the lead to the close, 30, 38 days. So um, we use form rules to be able to move these dates around. So, And this, by the way, is a multiple choice field. And it happens to show up this way so you can press a button. Um, but if I right click and edit the form element, form, I can switch it back to a drop down box by unchecking this right here. Okay. While I'm here, let me talk about the uh, for, uh, form rules, dynamic form rules. So I've got here where the status is equal to qualified, change to qualified to be in the current date. Okay, when the status is equal to lead, change the lead to the current date. So what this is really doing is every time we use that multiple choice field, it's filling in the appropriate dates into the appropriate field. So in the end, you can total up the difference or the days between lead and sale closure. So this is ABC Simple um, Sales Tracker, and it's got a bunch of features in it. You may use some of them, you may discard some of the others, but this is a great example of how you can use graphics and buttons to wor promote workflow inside your group.